Alright guys, my name is Corpen and I'm back with some more close combat, Gateway to Khan. And uh, yeah, for this episode I have a real treat, we're gonna fight in an urban environment. So we're gonna fight over a village called St. Mobia and I'm gonna fight the Panzer Grenadier Regiment of the 12th SS Panzer Division. So we'll probably not go up against uh, tanks but you never know but since this is a frontline division or a frontline company we will probably not encounter panzers or tigers because they will be further inland is my guess perhaps along this uh, this road here in the towns down here as a secondary or tertiary force. You don't encounter tanks right away. They will be put into the fight when the needs arises for a tank force to be engaged into combat. So some of you might have been uh, thinking now where are the tanks? Where's the armored combat? Well that's gonna have to wait for maybe a couple of more uh, battles. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna click on that uh, unit so I don't know what I'm going up against but what I do know is what kind of uh, setup I have for myself and we have two Churchill tanks one crocodile and one mark 6 variant and then we have a couple of rifle sections brand sections just like during the uh, previous two battles so let's go over the tactics for uh, this battle I think I'll try to push along this road down here with uh, probably the crocodile tank will uh, accompany the infantry section that will take these three buildings and I think I'll stop here try to capture this uh, little orchard and uh, the other half of my company will probably push towards this house and then try to claim uh, this little hamlet down here in the crossing and then for the next episode of this battle will probably push down along the two roads down here but you never know we might just uh, win here by a landslide victory I don't know <laughs> you, n you never know what will come of uh, a battle in this game so uh, yeah like in the previous uh, videos I'll set up my troops and then I'll come back to you once I've done that and I'll explain what I'm gonna do Okay, so here's my setup. I have my mortars over here on the field and I have a rifle section right here. They will uh, get the order to go down here to this uh, hedgerow. From here they'll keep our flank secured and they'll also um, defend my tanks. I said I would uh, set up a tank right here, but it doesn't seem like the environment here is really tank friendly. It has to go down this little narrow path and then when it comes out into the open it's going to be more or less between two buildings and that's not a good idea. Uh, what, I'll, what I'll do instead is that I'm going to keep this tank as a... Uh, it will be in support and I'll move the crocodile up together with the infantry. It will take the crossing first and from there on it can actually fire down and it can probably also cover this area if these uh, infantry units encounter any kind of trouble. But uh, yeah, what I think I'll do is that I'll attack simultaneously with my both uh, flank forces. These guys will just move down and claim these three buildings and from this building and that building they will be able to hold the area and from this building they will be able to see what's in the orchard here and once we've done that uh, the crocodile tank, no uh, I'll probably use the, Mar the Churchill uh, Mark 6 for that. It will probably be able to just lag in behind here and give support wherever it's needed 
and the crocodile would just move along the eastern flying force on the way up into this village which I suspect could be heavily defended you never know so let's start the game and I'll give them some orders I guess uh, okay so we need to move down the home force they're pretty far up so which section doesn't have an order it was that one okay right let's get the battle order here for these guys um, so let's put them here in the hedgerow move up the tank as well and then as I said let this guy lag in behind and just give support wherever it's needed maybe we should uh, oops maybe we should uh, bomb this area with some uh, smoke rounds see if that helps Okay, so the tank is in position, that's good. Doesn't seem like we have any kind of contact yet, and we don't see any infantry or any gun or anything like that, so that's good. Let's have you guys move up a little bit faster, because I can't afford to lose another tank. I've already lost one during the first three games and that's really really bad since I'm not really sure whether we'll forward observer reports motor barrage available okay so let's have these guys sprint over the street they're too accurate <laughs> we need the smoke over here Seems like these buildings are actually quite empty. In position. I would never have left these buildings empty because uh, if I had done that, I would have known that. That would have been uh, something like an invitation for the enemy to just grab those buildings and hold up there. <laughs> And after that, you'll have a pretty hard time rooting them out. <laughs> so the HQ section will probably have to go into the house. And then we'll move up the brand dudes up to here, I guess. Let's move the Churchill up as well. And the Mark 6. Actually, the crocodile needs to be a bit quicker. Okay, so we had some good smoke here. Uh, too bad my units are totally incompetent of uh, finding a way towards the front. Let's try that again, but in a run order. Okay, so the Piet gun... I don't know what to use these guys for. Oh, obviously I need them against uh, armor. But uh, they're no use to me now. Okay. Actually, let's have you guys in a fire support role as well as the Piet gun, and then we'll use you as a... And then we'll move up the tank a little bit further. No, not that far. In position. 
um, possession. Can you fire here? Yes. Well, we haven't taken any kind of fire yet, so I think we'll s we're safe. Let's uh, have you guys move a little bit faster. AKA sprinting all the way up. Uh, you lot. Should I move you up here? Yeah, let's do it. Redeployed. And there in at the right place as well. Okay, let's have you guys move up. And then move you. Let's have you moving as well quickly this time. And I'm using the Plateau HQ squad as a Very fire good. support this time. Maybe we should even just put a few rounds into this building. But I can't doubt that there's any kind of Germans down here at the moment. Because they would have been shooting at those guys running it out there in the open. But down here, there could be Germans down here. So let's just put some preemptive fire into that building. And uh, I think I'll move my HQ, maybe not that far. Let them be here. And you lot, please uh, In position. move up. See if we can take uh, me to me. Objective. So it seems like we have the situation under control, but like in every battle so far, when shit hits the fan, it tends to hit the fan quite Redeployed. quickly, uh, quite uh, in a quite uh, aggressive manner. <laughs> in position. So, do you have a fire solution? No, they can't support. I need infantry up here in order to move these guys down. And we do actually have um, infantry up here as well that can lend some support to these guys when they're moving up. So let's have them moving right away. So I'll probably put these guys in a in a defensive role here. They're also here and they have a fire solution on anything that might pop up along this uh, hedgerow here. But once again it seems like the area secured. It's all clear here. So let's have you move down to that cross in the hedgerow. And what that gives us is that it gives us the opportunity to move up the platoon HQ squad. So um, this looks like a barn or something like that. So I'm gonna have them post up here. And then we'll focus on this uh, section of the infantry for a while. Since we have the buildings we wanted to take. Uh, you lot, what do you see? I have a good view over the Manoir Perron and uh, these hedges. So they will actually see if the enemy decides to move up troops towards the hamlet here, here I mean, when we uh, make a push for it. But uh, we of course want to be on the right side of these hedges. We are not going to just walk straight in the open 
over to this two-story house. That is not going to be happening. In position. So let's move out the Piat gun into the building. From there, uh, they'll uh, have a Overwatch view over what's happening. So let's give them a defend order. Would actually be nice to capture that house as well. Maybe I'll just do that. So there's a crossed hedge here. Um, okay, and Saint Mauvieux. This is the main village center then. Yeah, and we have a church as well. Oh, there is going to be infantry down here for sure. In position. So let's have you guys very cautiously just move up and post up inside the house, see what happens. Maybe I should move you a lot as well. All the way down here. Okay, at the same time, let's have a look at what's happening here. Seems like we're actually good to go here. So uh, let's move up to this area. So I guess every one of those boys have gotten an order now. I think so. Yeah, they're moving. So that's good. I think we'll pop some smoke in the village as well, just to obscure uh, the vision for the Germans. Maybe just pop some smoke right here. Along the village uh, center crossroads area. Redeployed. Allied fighters flying overhead. <laughs> That's nice. Take cover! Okay, so we have contact from somewhere. Is that a sniper? Sure sounds like one. So we're gonna give these guys the uh, move order. Because that means that they will actually see cover if they need to. When you give them the move fast order, they're just sprinting. Okay, so incoming Redeployed. artillery on which position? No, I don't like that. Let's have each and every one move up in their own face. Crap. That's not good. Now we need to sneak. Because they're actually... They've aimed... They're seared in on our uh, infantry squads with artillery. This is risky. Very risky. But I need to do it because... No, 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 stop turning. Thank you. Let's try to move into the buildings here. So we've had our first contact, but we have no idea where the enemy is. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Um, let's move the headquarters up to this uh, hedgerow. And let's move you guys 
a little bit further down here. So contact, but no, we have no idea where they are other than they're up here, of course. And I don't want to engage my uh, my mortars. I'm firing on up what could be a sniper, essentially, but it could be a single rifleman shooting as well. Let's fire up into this uh, tree, into the tree line. See if see if we can get any German to run. <laughs> Or if we get lucky and hit someone. <laughs> Maybe pop some smoke here. Would be good. Uh, speaking of smoke, we do actually need more smoke rounds. Down here. Oh, it seems like we're out. Alright. We'll have another smoke round right beside it, should be enough. One more. Redeployed. Here's my infantry, rifle infantry moving up. So it seems like we're good to go to move up the Churchill tank as well. And you lot, please seek out some good cover and start defending. Oh, now we have a spotted enemy here. There's someone there. Please kill him if you can. Redeployed. It's a bit hard to see since we actually put down some very effective uh, smoke rounds there. <laughs> that guy is just. He's very well hidden in smoke, but it seems like we hit him. Don't know though. In position! I think we can afford to have these guys move up quickly now. Yeah, that's a kill. Oh, more contact. Down range. Let's have the crocodile move up a little bit. See if it uh, has a fire solution on those guys. Oh, it's a uh, grenade launcher. <laughs> Granatenwerfer. <laughs> Boy, are you guys screwed. Yeah. Okay, move up just a tad bit more. Actually, let's have you guys move up fast. Fire solution on those? No. Oh well. Never mind. Okay, so how about you guys? Um, don't really want to have them running over uh, an open field. So let's have them move up quickly this direction. And then uh, they'll join the fight as soon as they can. Let's have you guys move up in this direction. And you're gonna defend. It looks like that uh, mortar round actually killed one of our guys. 
Yeah, I know you're on the happy fire. <laughs> If I only could split up a team, I need someone to investigate those guys there. But let's take care of those first and then move down here. I just cleared this village off the dam, really. Oh, that's close. There. That's 188 or 180 millimeter gren grenade launcher down. So it seems like they put up their grenade launchers totally undefended. Not the best move, perhaps. Move. Please. That also goes for you. Oh, more contacts. We have more infantry moving up. Oh, they're actually firing down. From the upper floor of that building. Let's move you. No, I'll just let them be wherever, where they are at the moment. In position. Let's see if we In can position. have these guys sneak downward, down towards this uh, cross hedge. Let's see if we can move up some troops here. Seems like it's all clear on this front. Oops. This game is uh, a little bit derpy when it comes to recording. <laughs> I do of course apologize for that, but I think it's a pretty funny game. Hopefully a funny game to watch as well. Uh, it's definitely funny to, to play and uh, Let's have you guys move up here, and then we'll... Position. Okay, so they're in position. Let's have them move up here. So people are winded, or otherwise healthy. They're all winded. And these men are winded as well. Move, move, and move. Clear the buildings. And after that we'll... Or at the same time we'll be able to move up the crocodile. And we'll also be able to move up the peer teams. And there's some Germans right there. Out in the open, so let's uh, put down some arty on them. Oh, there's actually... German artillery incoming. <laughs> Area secure. You're mad. In position. Move, move, move. Move. Redeploy. Get the cover. If there's arty incoming, we want everyone inside. Oh, that was way off. Way off. Don't really want to move up my crocodile to engage these uh, infantrymen here. Oh, good hit by the Archer there. Actually, a 
direct hit on one of the infantrymen. <laughs> You're mad. Dang, what's happening? Oh, I got another one. And now it seems like the Germans are aiming at this area, or I don't know what it means really. This, but it seems like it's uh, it's going to get bombarded. Um, Let's move the crocodile up, so that it can actually cover my men as they move up. Oh! Seems like we have a lot of infantry here, so okay, fair enough, let's put down some arty on this grid, so if we can knock out a few men. Okay, I need these guys to move over. That, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Artillery in this game, it feels so powerful. And it's so demoralizing for the men as well. They really hate getting shelled. Okay, so... You're all in place, so uh, let's have you men move over to that building. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave these guys on overwatch for now, and then uh, once we got the building cleared, I'll probably Redoid. move up. Man, we have to see this. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so let's uh, use the possibility, the opportunity here to move up my troops. Actually, have the. Oh, I totally mistimed that. <laughs> now the artillery barrage is over, and now we're moving. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't have everything, I guess. <laughs> You're mad. Area secure. Okay, so we got the manoir perron. Okay, let's move up the tank. Okay, that's an infantry squad. And that's a machine gun. We need to deal with that first. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Tank is incoming. Don't you worry, guys. Um, let's move these guys up as well. And let's have you in... Uh, Can't go there. Let's give them the defend order. Dang it. Now. And defend. And move up the tank. Seems like all the Germans are on this side of the map. As long as they keep their heads down, they should be fine. By doing so, they can just observe for the tank, and the tank can deal with... Oh, one's got shot. But we need this machine gun silenced. Come on, get him. Let's give my mortars a new order to fire again. Oops. 
I knew that would happen. <laughs> Let's turn around the the hull so that the bow machine gun can start firing as well. If it can. Oh, it's actually firing on the guys on the road now. Alright. Okay, so let's start being aggressive here. Shit! I've lost the whole squad, except for two guys. Dang. Those German machine guns, man. They're not funny. Oh my god! They were actually in range for that. Yeah, 80 meters! <laughs> yeah, burn. <laughs> now move up move up the oh so we actually won or did we run out of time perhaps we did don't know really um, but we s suffered some casualties uh, mainly uh, during the fight around that house there when the MG-34 started opening up on our uh, infantry in the house that did actually cost me a few men and then we lost I think it was two in an uh, artillery strike but it seemed like it was more or less uh, a draw here. Well, we mainly took ground during this uh, during this battle, and that was uh, what we needed the most to get the foothold on this map. And then during the next battle, we'll push on. Uh, we'll uh, or we'll destroy the German company, the SS Panzer company. Or did we actually win? No, they're still there. So uh, they've suffered some casualties and we ran out of time basically. And now are we... Now we're actually... At the next... At the next turn, I think. We do have uh, some reinforcement. We have uh, a tank company moving up. That's interesting. Does that mean that we do actually get tanks as well? I don't know, uh, but we have another company, Glasgow Highlanders, that have uh, showed up, the 7th Sea 4th, <laughs> and then the 2nd Gordon Highlanders, alright, more British infantry, and uh, there's also still the Royal Scots Fusiliers. So, okay, interesting. I guess we'll uh, move up some fresh troops now into Lagal and then just push on and encircle these guys and get rid of them, I guess. So, I'm gonna give uh, these guys the move order and I'm gonna let these men stay back and defend, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I think I need my heavy artillery for these men since that is actually a city fight so heavy artillery could be useful there and let's put execute and see what happens so that uh, company moves up and it seems like there's actually uh, whoops I did not see what was in that <laughs> the company, but it seems like there's actually two company quarters for the 12th SS Panzer, and then there's also still the Pioneer Battalion here, so I think they'll just push their reinforcements into the battle, so yeah, cool stuff. I really look forward to this. Let's press next and see what happens. So. Yeah, there's going to be battles here, 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 and here during this turn. So, um, 
indeed let's uh, continue the fight in the next episode and then we'll be back at Fontenay once more where I suffered such a, such a heavy, I wouldn't say defeat, but I suffered heavy losses on this map since it's almost only open fields and not many hedgerows. So dirt roads and open fields doesn't make for a good environment for infantry combat. But I did actually take a few uh, victory locations, but... <laughs> Yeah, look at where the Germans may uh, position their troops. They will be everywhere. So I get uh, key positions, but nothing else than that. So I think we'll go into be on the defense next during the next game. So until then, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys around.